Welcome to the stage, a very funny man, Matt Stewart! Oh. Hey, um, here's, a, here's a pretty big question I'm going to kick off with. Uh, any Coco Pops fans in the house tonight? <laughs> yeah, oh, mama, all right, great. Well, you guys in particular are going to quite like this next bit because it's, it's about uh, Coco Pops. That's why, I mean, that's kind of why I asked the question. I thought that might sort of ease us into the thing I'm going to do about it. All right, cool. I um, <laughs> saw an ad for Coco Pops a little while ago, right, and it really grabbed my attention. Um, during the ad, it said something like, Coco Pops, now providing 40% of your child's daily calcium requirements, right? And I was like, it's a real ad. And I was like, bloody hell, Coco Pops. It's impressive, you know? Then I noticed there was a little asterisk, right? And then on the lower third of the screen, it said, as long as the Cocoa Pops is served with half a litre of low-fat skim milk. <laughs> and I, as a real ad, I couldn't help but feel in that moment that the milk was doing a lot of the heavy lifting there, you know? <laughs> calcium-wise. So. Like, if you're going to say that, you may as well be like, uh, Cocoa Pops, now providing 40% of your child's daily vitamin D requirements, right? You know, asterisk as long as they eat it outside on a sunny day. You know? <laughs> what they really want to say, I think, is, you know, Coco Pops, now providing a healthy start for your child's day, right? You know, asterisk. As long as as soon as you pour the Coco Pops into the bowl, you take the whole bowl, put it into the bin, and feed them literally anything else. <laughs> Maybe encourage them to go for a jog or something like that. Oh, yeah, bam. Cop that, Coco Pops, you dickhead. Woo! <laughs> It actually reminds me of my favourite joke. It's not one of my jokes, admittedly, but it is one of my favourites. It goes like this. How do you know if someone's a vegetarian? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> I shouldn't say it up here on stage. I'll find that very distracting. Oh, my goodness. I'll be chuckling all night long. How do you know if someone's a vegetarian? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, great. that is good, isn't it, hey? I've been thinking about it a lot. I think that's maybe the pinnacle of comedy, you know, um, that joke. Um, I've got it written on my wall. It's the first thing I see in the morning. Um, how do you know if someone's a veg... Don't worry, they'll tell you. I've been thinking about it a lot. I reckon, yeah, that is how you'd find out. Yeah, them telling you, you know. It's hardly newsworthy information, you know what I mean? Some, something you're going to read in the morning paper. You know, it's more likely going to happen in a scenario like you're at a barbecue or something like this and you offer someone a, a sausage or a burger or something like that and they'll be like, oh, thank you so much, but I actually don't eat meat, right? And then you'll be like, oh, bloody hell, here we go. <laughs> here, we, here we bloody go. Hey, how do you know if someone's a vegetarian? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> Politely, when it's relevant to the conversation you're having at the time. <laughs> It's a very good joke, it is a very good joke. Um, that's one way it might go, the other way it might be, uh, how do you know if someone's a vegetarian? Don't worry, they'll tell you when it's relevant to the comedy story they're about to tell. Um, anyway, I'm a vegetarian. Um, <laughs> I've been, I've been for a while. Oh, okay, thank you. I have been for a little while now, since high school, right? And I went to an all boys school out in the suburbs of Melbourne and it, it was kind of a funny time to come out, come out as a vegetarian, a weird way to put it, but anyway, I, um, I, uh, I remember one of my close friends, Chris, came up to me and he was a, he was a bit concerned, right? He's like, mate, I, I hear you're not eating meat anymore. What's going on, right? I'm like, oh, I've just stopped eating meat. And he goes, what, like you're a vegetarian? And he, I go, yeah, and he goes, a vegetarian? I didn't know guys were allowed to do that. Right? <laughs> It seemed like a weird response, um, and it was, it was a bit weird, but it wasn't the weirdest part of that conversation, right? The weirdest part was that I didn't go, yeah, of course we can, mate. The weirdest part was that I went, oh, oh I think we can, right? <laughs> and I went home and Googled it, and I found out that, yeah, we can. And um, <laughs> that was the moment that I realised that men can do anything if we put our mind to it, and um, <laughs> I really want that to be the main take-home message for me tonight. Believe in yourself, fellas. Thanks so much.